Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of uh, the World Championship thing. I don't know what I'm going to call this yet. Um, it'll, you know, it'll have a title eventually. Um, I decided to do commentary for some episodes because it's a very confusing series and you're going to have to listen to it, I guess, to kind of get what's going on. Because, you know, I, I'm, there's like, I could post screenshots and like the stuff, but that would take a long time. So, um, in the last episode we had three duels. We had, um... Shizu versus, um, Dox, and, um, Dox won, and I was really surprised about that. Duel 2 was Kaiba versus, um, Grandpa, and Grandpa also won, which I was also talked about. Um, 15 versus 8, which is the third duel. That's, I numbered them all on my phone, that's how I'm knowing what's going on. It's 15 versus 8, which was Evil Merrick versus, um, Tristan, Tristan, was won by Evil Merrick, mm -hmm. so I kind of did that. So, we're gonna do, um... A duel, it's going to be, um, on my thing, it's numbers 10 versus 14. They're based off the numbers of the people in the thing. Yes, hello. Um, and it's all the main characters. There's no other, like, side characters on it, so. As I said, uh, 3 versus 11, which is Joey versus Bakora. Which should be very hype. I think anyone could really win this duel, you know? I wish I'll make sure there's not. Alright, there's only one Bakora right here. It's like it's good. What I do is I put them on the highest levels that they have, and just because like one's a level um six or whatever, and the other's level seven, doesn't mean the level six will always lose. So let's start the duel off. Here we go. Alright, so I'm going to just give commentary throughout this duel, about these duels or whatever. The winner of this duel will face Evil Merrick in the second round, most likely, unless I switch up the order. I might want to make it interesting or something, you know? So Joey ends his turn. And now here goes Bakora. I just want to check out the settings for a second. Okay. Bakora gets um, that card out, hand of destruction, and now they have new hands or whatever. And Abakora is going to summon a monster, I guess. And it's Necroface, an attack position. 1,200 attack points is a pretty medium monster. And uh, we'll be able to destroy um, Joey's face down. Yeah, Time Wizard was destroyed. Whoever wins this duel most likely face Evil Merrick. I think either way, that'll be a cool mm -hmm. duel. Because, um... You know, Joey versus um, Merrick was a cool duel in the series, and Bakora and um, Merrick have all that fan fiction about them. Alright, Joey's not doing so well right here. He already has the early. And he has two, it looks like two Necrofaces on the field at the same time. And Joey has a scapegoat. So it's going to save him for now. Alright, so now it's Joey's turn. Is he going to do anything?
All right, Heart of the Underdog. It's place. I'm sorry, I'm in, um, doing the best commentary of the duel. It's still 8,000, 8,000, though, so anyone could really win, I guess, you know. Bakora looks like he has a good playing field going on. Nice 1,200. Joey down is 6,800. This looks like it's in Bakora's favor so far. And now Joey's down to 5,600. Could Joey already be out of the tournament in the first round? That'd be a, in like a big upset, I think. And my turn. Bakora gains 1,000 life points from soul absorption. 5,000? Whoa, what the hell? 19,000. Bakora. I might have this duel in the bag right here. It's going to be really hard for Joey to kind of get back from this. All right, Joey. Oh, okay. Now it's Joey's turn. This could turn everything around if this works out for him. And it looks like Joey lost the duel. <laughs> All right, so Bakora won. So it's gonna be Bakora versus most likely Merrick. Round two is gonna be a little different because I think there's only nine people. I'm gonna have to do pull some stuff, you know, to give it a interesting tournament. So I'm, I'll be back in like one second. Okay, so I'm going to write this down that Cora won the duel. So 18, 15 versus um, 11. Now it's time for the next duel. It's three duels per episode, at least for the first round. So let's do this. The next duel is um, 10 versus 14. So Pegasus versus Weevil. It could have been a season one duel in the actual series, so we'll have to see how it goes. Okay, so. And if you guys can tell, oh, right now it's just duel on series, then it's GX after all these rounds are over. And it's gonna be a really long tournament. <laughs> it's gonna be like long as shit. So um, let's see what I say. Pegasus. Let's see. Versus um, Weevil. Let's make sure it's the right number in 11, 12, 13. We have both a level 8 deck and Pegasus with the level 8 deck. This could be neck and neck. So we're right, let's do this duel.
Okay, it's time for Maximilian Pegasus vs. Weevil Underwood. No relation to Karen Underwood. <laughs> Alright, it looks like, oh, it's Pegasus' turn now, okay, so Weevil has a monster with 1400 points, Ultimate Insect level 3. Alright, well, what's going on? So Pegasus has a monster. Oh, only 500 now. It appears that Weevil has um, Ultimate Insect level 5, I think. And just like that, Weevil might be beating Pegasus in the first round. A lot of. Oh, scapegoat as well. Oh my god. Alright, looks like he has a relinquished somewhere. But Weevil is winning right now, which might be a little shocking to some, I don't know. Weevil's not a great duelist. <laughs> For the first arc, he was supposed to like, be a great duelist, but then they kind of just made him suck. I turned into a joke after that, which I thought was funnier, you know. Ultimate Insect Level 7 is now out in the field, and this is not looking good. Weevil is a very good duelist. Maximilian Pegasus is down to 4,800. How is he going to get back from this? Black Illusion Ritual, and he has relinquished. How is this going to turn the tide? Can Pegasus make it into round number two? Find out. Alright, so we took control of Ultimate Insect. Level 7, now he's attacking. Weevil down, most likely 1300, unless Weevil has something down his sleeve. We don't know. 1300, could this be what um, Maximum Pegasus needed to get back into the groove of things? We'll find out.
How is Weevil going to get past this? Might take a little bit. Weevil found a way, it looks like, to get back in control. Let's see if Pegasus has anything to stop him. Nope. No, her language is gone. So it looks like Weevil has this. But Pegasus will most likely destiny draw now, and we'll see what happens. A lot of twists and turns. I would not have been able. I would not have been able to vote on the winner for this tournament. Really. <laughs> Now he has, what's this called again? Thousand Island. What's this gonna do though? <laughs> Alright, Maximum Pegasus is putting that card in defense position. I don't know if that card can get destroyed by normal battles, so this duel might be going on for a while. Pegasus being able to make a defense, but how long will it work before it turns against him?
dual husbands tag them for a little bit. Might have to be a duck out or something. That will um, decide the winner of this one. And this will be good forever. <laughs> well, it's just be a long video, you know. I'll just have a link or whatever to the next duel. All right, Pegasus can in some offense, apparently. I don't know how he's managing to do so, but maybe this will end the duel anytime soon. I picked the wrong episode to commentate. <laughs> Weevil now down to 4800, but Weevil seems to be doing something. I'll see what can it be.
every turn, maximum pegs to just keep... I don't know why I call him by his full name every time, but... Every turn, he just keeps on, like... Attacking him directly, so it looks like in seven or eight turns or whatever, this duel could be won. We'll have to find out. <laughs> Pegasus slowly destroying the bug or whatever. Looks like, every, yeah, both fields are already filled, I believe, with cards. Yeah. So no one could really do anything besides Pegasus attacking. I think, um, let's see what call it. Pegasus might have this in the bag. That three turns, well, three of Pegasus's turns, um, Pegasus will have the lead in the duel, which is crazy. Already on turn 40. Evil down to 2300. This almost seems like a certain victory right here for um, Pegasus. I don't think Evil could really do much to stop him. Weevil has a destiny draw, well, what can you really do? I mean, <laughs> it's also odd he has a destiny draw when he's still in the lead of this duel, but, you know, any turn, it looks like four turns will be done. I guess only have, like, five or six cards left on the field, on his, um, hand, so, he got really lucky this time. You know what, I'm just gonna do this, I forgot, fuck it. Yeah, it's gonna, oh. Yeah, we can just fucking do this. I'm so sorry that I forgot about this, guys. Oh, what the fuck? Here is the last stack. And just like that, Pegasus wins in 51 turns. That's crazy. So Pegasus made it to the second round. And we have one more duel for this episode. I know it's so much, but... It's just how it goes, I guess, you know. Alright, what's the next duel? 13 versus 6. So that is, just wanna make sure, yeah. 13 versus 6. Make you Tsunami versus Yugi Moto. Okay, that's a season 1 duel right there. That should be interesting. So, Mako. Hopefully this duel is going to last as long as the other one. Where's Mako? Oh, there he is. Okay, just let me make sure. Yep, 13. Mako. And 
I think oh, yeah, Yui. I don't think I've done his duels yet. Let's see. He's in the next episode, okay. Alright, let's do this duel, guys. Mako versus Yugi Moto. Can make up have an upset and beat Yugi Moto, we'll find out. So once I said okay, it's standard, okay. At first I thought it was faster than I was supposed to be, but seems to be all good. Alright, Yugi Moto not doing so much, it looks like. Oh no, Yugi Moto's the guy at the top. Mako's not doing so much. It looks like Yugi might have this duel already. I shows if Yugi wins this duel, it'll be Yugi versus Pegasus. Well, we never really got. We got Moto. I mean, um, Yami versus Pegasus or Tem versus Pegasus, but not um, Yugi himself versus Pegasus. I mean, I guess for a little bit there was, but uh, with Yugi's own cards. First attack in. Let's see if Mako could rebound from this. Mako down to 5,500.
And it looks like Yugi's just gonna cream him, man. And just like that, Mako loses. So Yugi is going to most likely face Pegasus in the next round. So that's kind of cool. I just want to make sure everything is aligned. 13 for 6 was last. Now it's 10 versus 14. Oh, wait. This was 13 versus 6, so it's 10 versus 6. Okay. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. And bye.